see today we go to analyze this type of cantilever beam with the help of a free map software we already know about what is mean by cantilever beam which is known as one end is fixed and then another end is free that is called as the cantilever beam here see the cantilever beam length of 2 meter and also load applied is UDL uniformly distributed load as a length of 1.6 meter from free end and then A to C distance is there is no any load is applied now we go to uh, uh, draw the cantilever beam with the help of FEMAPS software okay then go to file new with the help of uh, tool jamandri cow line continues okay give the starting point x value 0 as well as y value, y value as also 0 give ok and then give the x value as 2 because the beam length is 2 meter here see the beam length is 2 meter give 2 ok then give ok again give ok it asks to ok to close the continuous line yes I, I would like to close the continuous line ok closed ok now go it, going to select the material so uh, the cantilever beam any type of beam can be followed by some steps first we can we can go to draw the beam and then we go to select the material after that select the property after that going to mesh the beam after uh, meshing we are going to uh, constrain to the beam that means uh, uh, fix uh, where we go to fix the beam and then uh, after that we are going to uh, select the uh, load load applied the load as after that we can analyze the result okay now uh, we draw the already drawn the beam then uh, we go to select the material with the help of model model material load the material as steel okay again give okay and then cancel now going to select the property with help of model property give the title as property select the material here and then element property type is beam so select the beam okay now going to select the shape of the beam mm, as rectangular bar now give the height as 1 with as 10 draw section give the draw section and then okay again give okay and then cancel now going to mesh with the help of mesh mesh control size along curve just pick the curve and then give ok now it will ask number of element we give the element as 2 because here a to c is one element c to b is one element so we give the number of element as 2 as well as the here to c the small distance is uh, from fixed end so C to B is uh, from free end so uh, we select the bias setting and then give the bias factor as 5 because uh, 2 divided by 0.4 gives uh, 5 so we give the bias factor as 5 and then here uh, different options small element start at uh, small element at st start small element at the end small element at center small element at both ends so in the option uh, we go and we can give, give the small element at the end because i am uh, uh, i am going to constrain the element uh, this constrain the element this end so give the bias uh, small element at the, uh, at the end end la vandu i am giving the small element as end and then give okay so here small element is end uh, okay and then 
cancel now going to uh, mesh geometry and cow pick the cow select ok and then here choose the title of property and then ok now give the uh, vector locate define the element orientation factor basis x y z value both as 0 tip is give x value as 0 y value as 1 ok now going to constrain the element with help of model constraint nodal title as give the title as constraint constraint ok select the uh, node of the constraint here I am going to constraint so select the node ok I am going to fix the uh, end so give the fixed ok and then cancel now going to apply the load here load is applied from the free end at a distance of 1.6 so here uh, the end here this is the end of b here this is the end of b this is the end of a this is the end of c so i am going to uh, apply the load from here to here udl so i'm going to uh, apply the load with the help of model load on element okay give the title as load l o a d load okay and then select that element give give ok and then distributed load uh, at end a as minus 1500 and b also 1500 because uniformly distributed load here uh, 1.5 kilo newton so i am giving the 1500 newton okay here uh, distributed load here also uh, 1.5 here also 1.5 so give both end as 1500 minus because the load is download download direction so give the sign as minus okay and then the applied uh, load direction is in y direction so give okay and then cancel load is applied now going to analyze the beam with the help of model analysis new analysis title as analysis ok analysis give the analysis just to wait uh, the load can be uh, the analysis can be loaded ok now loaded is completed give load result and then continue and now beam is analysis going to see the result uh, just press the F5 deform beam diagram deform and contour data give the shear force give the shear force NDA plane 1 shear force end b that is called end b plane 1 shear force d form and then contour also select the plane 1 shear force plane 1 shear force ok and then give ok this is the shear force diagram let us see here fixed end uh, shear force give the result of 2.4 that means 2400 here also uh, it's give the value of 2500 because the that is called the percentage of error from theoretical value and um, software analysis and theoretical value okay and then going to uh, uh, going to watch the beam diagram just to press f5 mm.
defam one contour data select plane one momentum bending momentum plane one momentum here plane one momentum give ok and then ok see this is the beam diagram of cantilever beam with uniformly distributed load here this is the beam diagram uniformly distributed load so now going to the view result uh, with the help of list output query just to select the uh, next one case one here unpick the all output vectors I'm going to select the um, plane one nda momentum and then give ok select the id so here i am going to select its value gives 2083.33 in minus here its give here the maximum value is give the here the here give the maximum value as uh, here give the maximum value of uh, 2 2917 here also it's give 2880 it is the percentage difference between um, theoretical and the practical and also going to see the shear force value we are already seeing the shear, shear force value list output query select the case one now going to select the plane one shear force okay okay and then select the query method by using method by using node here i am going to select okay okay let's let's see the here give the shear force value is 2500 and then uh, 282083 as the bending moment value gives the value as uh, in minus uh, it will also give the minus value the uh, sh uh, shear force gives the 2500 plus here also gives 2400 in plus sign okay that is uh, procedure for analysis the cantilever beam with the help of a uniformly distributed with the help of FEMAP software uh, this is the method of uh, cantilever beam analysis with the help of the FEMAP uh, analysis software thank you for watching if you like this video like share and subscribe our channel Thank you.